Hi everyone, my name is Matt with Cast Lighting. Today we're going to be demonstrating for you the ease of installation for the Cast Generation 3 100 foot fence kit. This kit contains four lumineers, one 600 watt power supply, one 500 foot spool of wire, wire splicing tools, and everything you need to mount on the fence within each box. Inside of the box, you have two lumineers with the round post mounting bracket on the back, one mounting bracket, and one quick connect splicing system for splicing the lumineer to the main wire. The first step for doing one of these installs is determining your spacing and attaching the mounting brackets onto your posts. In this scenario, we'll be, put, we'll be mounting these, system, these units on every other post, starting from the first post next to the gate. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is prep the unit for install. We do this by opening the junction box by unscrewing the face cover. Inside the junction box, you're gonna have your quick connects for your two drive circuits, and then your main quick connect. We're gonna prep this quick connect by unplugging it. We're gonna pull off the tripped wire. We're going to clip the very edge of this wire to the wire phrase properly. We're going to take our quick connects, unscrew the top portion of the quick connect, insert the collar over the wire, insert the wire into the top portion of the quick connect, cinch down, and repeat. Now this quick connect is ready to be installed into the main wire. The other section we're going to do is take off the mounting bracket. We do this by unscrewing the three screw holes in the junction box. As well as the bottom plate. We will install this plate on the fence post using the rear fence bracket and we recommend using a ratcheting wrench. Now your unit is prepped for install. So now this is how to install the face plate onto the fence post. You go to the top right before the cap. You're going to make sure this side that says up is pointed up. Insert the bracket into the plate. We're going to attach the lumineer to the mounting plate. We do this simply by Attaching the first two screws to the bottom of the mounting plate. Just hand tighten them. Take the fixture, put them on those two screws. Keep them in place. Attach the third screw through the center. Take your drill. Now your fixture is ready to be set up to power. All right, so after you mount all your lumineers, the next step is hanging the wire. You're gonna run the wire to the last lumineer on your run first. You're going to take the wire and wrap it one, two, drop it through. Just make a soft knot just so you have some tension for hanging the wire on the fence. Do something similar with this unit. Again, you're just making it so you can keep some tension in the wire along the fence for securing it later. 
Okay. And now, just so you see how I'm doing this, why we like to keep this nice and long, just make a loop, secure it around this bracket, and that's your run and end. Now this is the last lumineer on our system. We're gonna run this down this post. Okay, so now that we have the wire run along the fence, we're gonna tighten the wire and we're gonna use these quick connects to actually start connecting the lumineers to the power source. So we're gonna do that by taking our wire splitting tool. Now this is very important. You wanna take this tool, which we provide in the kit, you're gonna cut the wire right through the, the middle portion of it so you can split the wire and insert your PosiTap connection. You're gonna unscrew the bottom portion of the PosiTap, you're gonna hook it to the wire you split. Now make sure you inspect your wire to ensure there's no exposed wires through the insulation. This could cause unnecessary voltage loss in your system. Fasten as tight as you, you can the quick connect system onto your wire. Now because this is low voltage, there really is no positive and negative, so you don't have to follow the writing rule. Both of these have writing on it. Prevent overturning or over twisting the wire and potentially damaging the quick connect terminals in here. Now from this, you simply plug it in. Take a zip tie. And move on to the next picture. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is terminate the end of the wire by putting the caps on the end of it. We're gonna install the bottom plate for each fixture, the face plate, and then we're gonna work the tension out of the line by fastening it typically every two feet with zip ties. Um, we also use stainless steel permanent ties. We're not gonna be using those today. This is a temporary fence application. Um, however, you know, if you're gonna plan on having the system up for longer than two, three years, uh, there's much better cable ties you can use for mounting the wire. And of course, conduit's also an option. So terminate the wire. First thing we're gonna do is split the wire. Strip the wire ends. and crimp. Then we install the bottom plate. So stuff all your wires in the junction box. You can cut the, these if you need to. And there you go. This unit is installed. All right. So now we're just gonna pull the tension out of the line. We're gonna put a cable tie eh, roughly every two to three foot. Final thing we do is insert our wire. Unscrew the terminals, tighten onto the DIN rail. And there you go. 